Hi everybody. Welcome back to Mediocre Whiskey Review. I'm Jill, your host, and we are doing a fresh bottle opening. A fresh crack. We're opening a new bottle. Stick around. All right, folks. I picked this one up today, um, and I don't know why I don't have more of their products, but that's whatever. So we have this beautiful bottle right here. It is a hard truth. Um, there's a lot to this and I, I didn't realize when I purchased it how much there was going on with this bottle, okay? Um, so while I, while I get into that and we open it, go like, subscribe, comment, um, do things. So I picked this up at the little liquor store in my town here. Pause for cork pop. That was a very nice pop, but it came out super quick. So in my little my little town, we have liquor stores called Cork and Keg, if anybody's ever heard of them. Um, and that's where I found this. It was in it was in their case. They had a couple other things, and I, you know, I went back and forth on what I was gonna buy. Um, and I landed on this because A, I don't have any of their products. B, I take that back. I have one. I have a toasted coconut rum is crazy good um and i picked it up because i've been to their distillery <clears throat> so the distillery is in nashville indiana which is way down south it's a couple hours south of me um and when i went to their distillery i did a tasting i did not get to take a tour it was a couple years ago like in the middle of a snowstorm and um you know <laughs> i was actually coming back from kentucky and stopped there on the way they have a beautiful restaurant with great food so i highly recommend the distillery they do like off-road tours where you're like they take you on an atv and i think that's the coolest thing i've ever heard and i'm definitely going to go back this summer and do one of those anyway I didn't realize when I purchased this because obviously I do things on a whim. I, there's very little planning involved in my life, okay? I, <laughs> I get a hair up my ass and then I just do it because why not? Um, so I did not realize when I purchased the bottle, it is a rye whiskey. Did not know that. What caught my attention is that I know that Hard Truth is in Southern Indiana, um, Nashville, Indiana, like I said. What caught my attention was it says uh, Kentucky Sweet Mash. Now, Hard Truth does their own distilling and, um, you know, aging and bottling and all of that. So that caught my attention that it said Kentucky on it. Uh, so after doing... Sorry, I made a whole mess apparently when I poured that. Um, after doing a little research, it also, <clears throat> to be noted, I also didn't know that this was a store pick. This is a Big John store pick for cork and keg. Um, so there's that also. When I went to their website and I typed in, it says Hard Truth, Kentucky Sweet Mash, Kentucky straight rye whiskey, which there's a lot of words there. And I, I typed that into the old Google search. My, the only thing I could find, I could not find anything that said exactly this. So I assume that this is for single barrels, for store picks possibly. I don't know, please don't quote me on that. Here's what I found out. The bottle says limited edition Kentucky Sweet Mash Straight Rye Whiskey. It's barrel strength, uh, which puts it at 107.8 proof. Um, it was barreled on, I have to read it off my paper because I can't see it here on my glass up here. Anyway, uh, it was barreled on May 4th, 2017, and it was dumped on October 11th, 2022. So it puts it about five years, five months old. It was dumped in 2022. This is 2024. So I don't know, I don't know how barrel picks work. I don't know how long the process is. Obviously, 
things have to age, things have to be, you know, dumped and bottled and labeled. And I, I understand all of that. Um, so I don't know how long this has been at Cork and Keg because I haven't, I haven't been in there for, I'm going to say six months, but I don't know. That's probably close to accurate. And I don't recall seeing it in there the last few times I've been there. So I don't know if they just got it. I don't know. I, I don't know much of anything. And the owner was not at the liquor store for me to speak to you. And the young lady that was working there, um, very admittedly said that she knew nothing about bourbon and whiskey, except that it's expensive. She's not wrong. She's not wrong. It can be. Uh, this I paid, I got my little receipt here, um, $54.98. So $55. And let me continue saying, wait, let me, let me take a sniff first. Okay. Again, I, I didn't know that it was a straight rye whiskey. So immediately, like my immediate reaction was, oh no. But it's going to be fine because I'm not afraid of rye anymore, okay? I can get a rye note in it, that little bit of grassy, grassy note in it. So the label says it's mashed, distilled, and aged in a charred American oak barrel in Kentucky for hard truth. Uh, I was picked for cork and keg. It's called, he calls his uh, store picks Big John. The, it says also on the front right here, it says RW1 is the mash bill. So RW1 on Hard Truth's website means it is 94% rye and 6% malted barley. So it's a lot of rye. It's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. And that's okay. We're not going to be afraid of it. I'm getting that grass and there's a sweeter note in there that I assume from the malted barley. We're going to jump in, take a sip. We'll talk some more about it. First sip off the bat. As always, I am never surprised by this. It doesn't matter if I'm drinking a rye or a bourbon. It doesn't matter. The first sip I take is always spicy. Um, I haven't had any other whiskey today. I haven't had anything, anything else. Um, so this is my first, my first sip of, of any alcohol today. Pause for a moment. So again, the first sip I take is always, always feels spicy, but I did get the, um, like the grassy taste, almost like I went out and licked the ground, but not quite that strong. So there's hope for it yet. And I'm hoping, and again, just opened it. So obviously it's going to open up. It's going to change a little bit. And I hear... I, I follow them on Facebook and I see lots of people talking about they love their rye whiskeys at from Hard Truth. So, but reading reading the bottle saying that it is just mashed, distilled, and aged uh, in Kentucky for Hard Truth, because it says Mash Bill RW1 on here, that tells me it is Hard Truth's uh, Mash Bill. But why? in Kentucky. Why do they mash it, distill it, and age it in Kentucky? I'm very confused. Maybe nobody knows the answer. I couldn't find anything on their website because they don't show this on their website. And I assume that's because it's a single barrel product. And it does, there's a sticker on here that says their single barrels are selected, or it's, maybe it was on the website. Their, their single barrels are selected by the master distiller, not by the person purchasing the barrel. Um, so that was interesting, I thought as well, but to each their own, they, you know, do you boo boo? That's okay. Grassy notes fading a little bit in the nose. All right. Sip number two. Okay. Little less spice that time. I'm still getting a little bit, still getting a little bit of the front yard in there. There's some black pepper. There is a sweetness and I know it's got to be the malted barley because it tastes like a, like a multi, like a multi flavor. I don't know. So all together, sub two, not bad, not bad at all. And I'm, I, when I was on their website, I saw that they have 
several different um, offerings from Hard Truth, and one is a weeded, which I would love to get my hands on, and I have not seen. But if we're, if I'm being 100% honest, I typically don't look at these when I'm in the liquor store, and I don't know why. I, I just don't know why. <laughs> not at all. I don't know why they. I've heard nothing but good things about the distillery and I've, I've been there. They have good products and I need, I need to get some more. I need to purchase some more because a, they are pretty local to where I'm at. Um, not a, not a terrible drive to get there. And you know, I, I don't know how long they've been there. I didn't see that on their website. I wasn't looking for it, but I'm going to assume that they're still fairly young distillery. And I think that's great. I think that's great. And I would love to support them. So I definitely need to, I definitely need to do that. I need to go purchase uh, more of their stuff, you know, besides the toasted coconut rum, which literally I've opened to taste and to give tastes tastes to other people because it is phenomenal if you haven't had the toasted coconut rum from hard truth go get it go get it that time was very was very grassy but it was less it was less hot less spicy but i'm not pulling a lot else out of that i'm not getting a lot of I'm not getting the caramel and the vanilla, which I understand is, you know, mostly in a, in a bourbon or whiskey, not a rye, which is what I'm, that's what I enjoy. It's what I prefer. That's okay too. We're going to go, we're going to give it a good swirl and then we're going to go sip four. But I, I will say what I had at their distillery and Lord help me, I couldn't remember what that was now if I had to. But everything that I tasted then was delicious. It was so good. And they've branched out, started to do other things such as this. But I just haven't I just haven't tried much of their their newer stuff and I need to. I really need to. Cherry keeps popping out in my head and I don't I don't know if it's really cherry. I don't know if that's what I'm that's what I'm getting out of there. But I will say that for a 94% rye, this is not bad. I'm glad it's not 95 or 96 or 7% rye. But this overall is very good. And if you if you are a rye lover, I I think you would fall in love with this. And you know, and I like it. What I will try, and their their website had several recipes, like cocktail recipes. So I am going to try this in a cocktail this summer and see, you know, it, it might make a phenomenal old fashioned, which I haven't made. I don't think I've ever made an old fashioned, if we're being honest. So I need to, I need to get on that. And like, I have, I have glassware. I have like bar utensils. I have a muddler. I have, you know, I just don't have bitters. And I take that back. I have chocolate bitters because I tried to make a, a caramel old fat. I don't know. I tried to do something with some angels in me and like, it was okay, but it was too sweet. And, and I didn't care for it, but so I have, I have stuff I need. I just gotta get the ingredients, get some cherries and you know, whatnot. But for now, that's, that's all I have. This is the Hard Truth Kentucky Sweet Mash, straight rye, whiskey, barrel string, uncut, unfiltered. And again, I think if you find this and you, uh, you like the rye, the high rye, I think you're going to love it. It is... To me, it is good. It's not great. It's not phenomenal, but it is good. And I will use it in some cocktails to see, well, just to see, just to see if I like it better. Now that was like sip five or six and that was so warm and inviting. 
there was still a little bit of the front yard in it. There was the slightest hint of caramel. And it kind of, it was like the grass clippings were dipped in, were dipped in caramel. So anyway, I'm going to leave this review on that note right there. So you guys go do something nice for somebody, be nice to each other. And I guess I will see y'all next week. Cheers.